This is a dear Shu Mishnah Bura Simin Tes Vav Sif Dali, and all the learning has been generously sponsored as a schos. Ilan Hashem over Chaim Mordechai Ben Avsali Tzvi Emir Tzashem. The learning of the entire Chabur of Har Hashem, meaning people right and left who are loving dear Shu schedule, absolutely incredible, short, sweet, to the point, trying to learn new halachas every day, making it practical. Should bring Chaim Mordechai Ben Avsali Tzvi. To an higher, higher place in Ganeid and Shalmailo. So we're up to Sif Dalit, and Sif Dalit is going to be almost a direct segue off of the previous sugya, the sugya on which the corner of a talus rips within three fingers of the corner. Like we spoke about yesterday, yesterday the discussion centered primarily around Tasev Loimina Asi, and now we're going to delve a bit. Uh, a bit deeper into what is the issue with this talus. So let's see. Says the Machaber Sif Talid, Nikra Hatalis. If a talus tears, as we turn over to the next page over here, Taich Ashalaisha Etzbaiz Samach Lisfasa Knaf, within three corners, three fingers, excuse me, to the edge of the corner, Einoi Rashai Latafri. You're not allowed to sew back up. That is the din. Now, why is that din that you're not allowed to sew it back up? That is going to be the discussion right now. And a bit uncharacteristically, the Machaber himself is going to quote the Rishayim that give their opinions. So says the Machaber Ubeirish Rashi. Rashi explains why not to sew back up. We're afraid that some of the thread is going to be left down. Some of the thread is going to be left down. And then what are you going to have? That thread is going going to be part of the tzitzis. That thread is going to somehow, uh, you know, um, camouflage within your strings hanging down. And that is the problem. According to this reasoning, I feel nikra kol shu. Rashi is very, very nervous. Rashi is nervous to let you sew up anything on the corner because we're afraid that a thread will hang down and it's going to mess up your tzitzis. It's going to get camouflaged. So even a little bit, do not sew it up. Ulafiza, and similarly, and continues the machaber. Says the machaber, if the talis, a woolen talis, excuse me, tore within three fingers, then you're allowed to sew it up. Why? What's nowadays any different? You don't sew with wool. And because you do not sew with wool, there's no concern that your t- string is going to get camouflaged with the tzitzis. And therefore, we don't have to be worried. Bisman has that. Continues the Machaber, that's Shita number one, that's Rashi. Number two, Rav Amram appears the time of the Negro Tayyush Lisha Les Bay Tayyuras Baghead. Says Rav Amram that if the piece ripped off within three fingers, it does not have the status of a Baghead. It's as if what? The rest of dummy. It's as if that corner is non existent, it's invisible. Vavon Gav the Tafra. So even though you sewed it back on, but you're sewing it something invisible. Keman the Basik Khashav. It's as if. You're doing nothing. It's as if it's still detached. The Ava debate Titus Loi Patra Talis. And you're putting Titus on an invisible portion. An interesting sheet of Rav Amram. He learns that the, the problem isn't in the threads. The problem is in the corner itself. Is that this corner is as if it doesn't exist because it's too small. So by putting it back on, you're not doing anything. By putting Titus on that, you're not doing anything. Well, the Peter is that. So says the Bachaber, according to Rav Amram, in the Kravinishtai or Kolshu Kasha. Says Rav Amram that if it rips and, excuse me, not says Rav Amram, says the Machaber, according to this opinion, that if it rips but it's still a little bit attached, it's still partially part of the tzitzis, then it's kosher. Because the whole issue here is that when the piece rips off, that piece is nothing. But if it rips and it's still hanging by a thread, it's still part of the baggage. Now you sew back up, it's going to be great. That is sheet to number three. V'yesha, number two, excuse me. V'yesha imrim, and some say, that according to Rav Amram, it's only possible the tzitzis that were there. So we have two ways of learning Rav Amram. And Yari Shemayim should be Yaitse, all the opinions when it is possible. So that is the three different ways of learning up what is the soul in a quarter that rips off? Is it a problem with the string hanging you down? Is it a problem that the corner is non-existent? Or the Yishayim holds that it's a problem in the tzitzis. But if you put the tzitzis back on, then it's going to be okay. So says the Mishtaburu over here, 
Siv Katan Yod, Toich, a Shlisha, it's Vais, Avala Malami, Shlisha, it's Vais, Yachla Tafrali Kuliyama. If it rips above the three fingers from the corner, more towards the center of your garment, then you let it sew it on according to everyone. Why? Explains the Mishtabura. That's not the place you put on tzitzis, Kanal Simin Yodalf. And therefore, we're not nervous that you're going to get camouflage, the string hanging down. That's number one. Number two, the Beer Shavah Amram. Going, it's made to Iris Baggett. What was the whole issue? The issue was that this corner that rips off doesn't have the status of a garment, but now it does because it's part of the regular garment. It rips off entirely. Again, not a teeny little piece of the corner further in. Let's call it, let's call it uh, six fingers in. A whole chunk rips off as the din of a baggage. And even if it rips off with the tits, if you it because you let us sew it back on. You have to take off the tits and put it back on. This, of course, the first cousin to yesterday's year of Tasav Lomina Alsoi. That if you put back on that corner with the tits, we're afraid it's as if it's already made. And the Mishabura himself points you backwards to Sifkat and Zayin, what, which was the whole discussion of Tasa Beloi Min Asli. Continues the Machaber and Sifkat and Yod Aleph, Bechutei Tzamer, that according to this opinion, if it's a woolen bag, El B'Shar Minim says Mishtaburo, V'akol Yoidim Shashar Minim Ein Boitem B'Tzamer, everyone knows that if your garment is wool and the strands are not, Everyone knows that doesn't work, and therefore there's no fear of the camouflage string. You're not going to come to make this mistake. Anytime you're sewing with a different material, you're going to be okay. So, I don't know what people sew with, but perhaps if one were to sew up the garment, let's call it with a plastic thread. Get some sort of synthetic thread to sew up your titsis. In all cases, that would be fine because that's always a different min from the bag, and that's always not something that will be kosher for the titsis. Continues the Mr. Burras of cutting your bees, Misham de Nikra. That it's within three fingers, and therefore this is the sheet of Rav Amram, that this piece is as if it's non-existent. If while you're creating the baguette, you sewed a piece onto the baguette within the three fingers to the corner, and on that little piece you added onto the baguette, you put the tzitzis on, Sula the day of Amol is possible. That we command the possible because if it doesn't exist, after tafel the you just sew it back on. Vim yatel tits the malam yaisa chaticha. Ah, let's say you put on this little corner and then you hang the strings higher than that. Hatfuri yatiz rochay kim nixas the begi yosem begi what's by the possible. There's a different issue. You're right, then the titsis aren't hanging in an invisible part of your baggage, but then they're too far in. We learned that the titsis have to be within that three fingers, that's to be in the corner. If you hang them further up, it's also going to be possible. Okay, in the era of Oz, lit for attacks like enough, chaticha, begge, shal, 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 shal. So, what's the itza? The itza is to take a larger piece of material, put it underneath on that corner. Now, the baggage will have the status of a baggage. I am the command of Sivkat and Tazayin, which we'll see in a moment what the Mishnah is going to tell us what we should do in this scenario. Says Mishabur Sivkat in Gimel that if you hang the strings on this corner, you're not Yoytiv in Mava, Ratzalaymer says Mishabur, if you lost the titzes, Chadashi, Bechatichas, and Kanafa, who? You put new titzes on that corner, actually, Dover the Taos, after you sort it on, if you lost the Loi, Potter, at Taos, Stop Potter. The Tfile, Lachashab, Chibur, Zat. Because sewing it on is not considered an attachment. Ukeman de posliga dayin chosha. In mezchila nikra kanaf le gamri min ab again. So it's not going to work. Says the Mishnah Burus have gotten you dialed according to Machaber. That calls you that if it tore, but it's still a little bit, it's hanging on by a thread. Then according to Rav Amram, it's kosher because it's not fully severed from the garment. Says Mishnah Burus to Leimer. Afilu atitzes shayib abish nikra. Even if the tits are there, it's still kosher. And some say this is possible. What the story is. And the Biralacha points out, higher up. Continues Mishnah Burus of God to test Rav. And some say, according to Rav Amram, that the issue is only with the tits that were there. But if you put new tits on, it's going to be okay. Svir lehod, it's vir chash of chibur. That sewing it on is considered an attachment. Below misal elat tits is shayiba bishatafra. The whole issue is only the strings that were there. Mishav tasavom and asam. 
Vain betad the cholikal shulchan aruch chazak kol yama moidin dim laachar shetafra yitzel but tits is the kasher. Says the taz the shulchan aruch is wrong. It's not a machloikas whether if you put new strings on. Everyone agrees you put new strings on, it's going to be kasher. Vachein kaz ra baach which I can say gedolim vahagro vachein iskibar tzachayim. Avo paskins the mishabura mikol makayim lotzis de rishayna. You want to be yotzis zayin the mechaber. It's true that the taz and the baach like can say gedolim. And the guide are all arguing on the Shulchan Aruch. But says Mishtabura, you want to suffice and you want to fulfill the sheet of the Mishtab of the Shulchan Aruch. Yitzvah Tach is like an Amital Sheish by Shalash Al Shalish to eat Sayyid, put a piece of material on the back to create it for sure, according to be one garment, according to everyone, then put the tzitzis on. Says the Mishtabura, Sivkatan, Tezayin, what did the Mishtabura, what did the Shulchan Aruch pass in that a year in Shamayim? Should be yotze all the shitois, yotze as kulam. Al kain therefore, no yin litzer of a kol kenam etaz chatik shal begin shleim li shal shal shalayish. Therefore, what do we do? We put on the corner a piece of material three by three. Mishom de bekam begadam motzi shafilim chadashim. Yishven tefir tal kimmel. There's always some time that they sew something within three fingers of the corner. Fish pasul adas of ravam will be there. Yishven the house of kadim yibes, and that is the reason why. What we do is, says the Mishnabura, we put underneath this piece of material. Now we understand what's this piece of material doing here on the bottom. It's not there just to look pretty. It's there in order to ensure that if anything rips, it's going to be kosher. Just to point out one din before we call it a day, a bit of a random din, but Shlomo Zalman says, what's the front and what's the back of your tzitzis? Is this the back or is this the front? You can probably tell from the way that I'm wearing it that this, I believe, is the back. Says the Shlomo Zalman. First of all, it's Amma Akiv if you wear them backwards. Second of all, says the Shlomo Zalman, choose. You want that to be the back? Be the back. Front, front. But don't switch it around every day. Whatever you decide is the front is the back, that's the way it should be. Once you keep it that way, we'll pick it up from Sefei in the next year. Mir